let me ask you a question. I went, I was in this, I was in the military and there's a big military base in Bahrain, which is like right off the coast of Saudi Arabia. It's kind of like the Las Vegas for Arabians kind of, right? Yeah, sure. No? Yeah. yeah. And Dubai, I would say. Yeah. And I saw this a lot. And, and tell me if this is a Bahrain, a Bahrain. A lot of men holding hands, but they weren't like on a date. Like they were maybe. No, 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 no. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Is back it, what is that? Is that? Is, I okay. remember the heat uh, George W. Bush got for holding hands with the king of Saudi Arabia. Mm. Uh, it's just a different culture. I mean, we kiss okay. each other on the cheek. We hold each other's hands. We call so it's each a form of friendship, right? Absolutely. Like, we call each other Habibi, which means my love. Uh, we're very sort of. Um, uh endearing to each other 100 percent. i got one last question before we get to our boy Massey here can you shed any light were you on that show when you guys went to saudi arabia and they held everybody in the plane and all that yes i was can you I shed was. any light on that what's the story uh, on that i guess so the story i i guess was that um while i was at the show people kept telling me hey this match you have is really important okay don't screw it up my producer uh sugar shane helms the hurricane kept saying, yes. man, what's going Friend on? Everybody's, te everybody's texting me saying, oh, this is a horrible hurricane. I'm sorry. But he's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what it is. Uh, hey, that's yeah, there you go. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I got yeah. a text yeah. saying, hey, you should be rehearsing this match every second. You should have been here yesterday on the practice ring practicing this match. Because they didn't even know that I had ever wrestled before. Everybody thought this was my first match. They thought it was brand new. Uh, green is Excuse me. I don't know if I can swear. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, there was a lot writing on this match, and I didn't know why until after. Apparently, there was a dispute between WWE and the Saudi uh, Sports Authority regarding the TV rights to showing the show. And I think WWE believed that if my match, the Saudi boys match, went really well, Vince himself said this has to be a WrestleMania-level match. That was what was told to me. That if that match went well then maybe the Saudis would be more amenable to whatever uh, agreement or deal that WWE was trying to get. Hmm. So officially, legally, it was a mechanical failure where we were in the plane for a long time. Uh, but all Were I you on the plane too? I was on that plane, yes. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was no big deal because I just got to go back to my dad's house and hang out with my brothers and my sister. Right. But uh, everybody else was big time. Disco. But, uh, so do you think, so yeah. let me ask you a question. Do you think that the Saudi government held back the plane until this thing got settled between Vince and them. My opinion is yeah. that uh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, right. Right. the Saudi government can do whatever it <laughs> wants. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. You're on their land. I mean, bro, You're on their land. Point. You're a different part of the world. They just don't play. We have our rules here. And it's like, Listen, I gotta our, go back. Our, our, our rules are unwritten <laughs> rules in other countries. So I got to like, go back like and make rules. a ton of money doing a tour in the Middle East. So I'm choosing my words carefully. <laughs> yeah. yeah, make I your cheese, bro. I, 